I can't take it anymore. I can't stop thinking about it. Everything that's happening has some sort of purpose to it. Does it not? Does anything have a purpose to it? Some say they do, but you know what? I'm not some people. I am something that a lot of people would recognize as incoherent to the ways of the outside world. And sometimes they can be right, but they're not this time. This time the media wants to lie. This time the media wants to make people suffer. This time the whole world is within their grasp of turning it all into corruption. And nothing but it. And that is what the problem we have today is corruption. The thing that I've been fighting against pretty much since day And I can't stop thinking about these horrendous attacks throughout the past years against this country, against other countries, and nobody doing a goddamn thing about it except for some reason except for Russia. Russia seemed to be the only country wanting to do something about it. And you know what? For a little while, so did the United States of America. But we were forced our hand after the attacks of 9-11. We were forced our hand after the attacks at Boston. It seems that day after day we are constantly being forced by these homicidal maniacs that want to cover themselves up and threaten to kill somebody all in the name of peace and their religion. Well, here's what old one Death Eater has to say about it. I'm sick and tired of it. I'm sick and tired of all of this lying bullshit that the media is trying to portray that, oh, maybe, maybe these people aren't the problem. Maybe we just need to find out who these people are. We know who they are. We know where they're at. We've known where they're at. I personally don't know where they're at. But 
but I could give, I could probably name two countries out in the Middle East to point them in the right direction. Saudi Arabia and Iran. Now, the premise of this video isn't to put blame onto a certain religion because everybody is to blame. And I'm not saying that everybody is to blame for 9-11 or for the Boston um, bombings or for any other terrorist, terrorist event that happened. In fact, let's let's let, let's take a let's let's take a look back a long time ago during the Christian Crusades. What were they about? Well, they were about the senseless killings between Christianity and Muslims. For religion. They were killing other people over the fact that my God was better than yours. So take that. So isn't it kind of ironic that these radical Muslims are using the name of their own God to kill Americans? to kill English, to kill French, to kill Russians, to kill Japanese, Chinese, and to killing their own people for not believing in their own beliefs. They're killing Jews. They're killing Christians. They're killing anybody that doesn't believe in their beliefs. That if you don't kill for your God, then you're, you're just as good as dead. That is what their belief is. And that's the sad truth. It's a very, very sad truth that these monsters would kill. That anybody would kill. Because they believe that their God is better than theirs. And if you don't believe in my God, I'm going to kill you. reality about this is that the media doesn't want to portray that truth. The media says a little little something about like that. Like they're killing Americans but they're not saying what they should be saying. They're saying oh, Muslim terrorists are killing everybody but what they should be saying is that the Muslims are doing their, or no, not, excuse me. The terrorists are doing their own little crusade for their own religion. That their own religion is even rejecting. So don't get me wrong. And don't call me... <clears throat> Don't call me some kind of a radicalist because I'm not. Don't don't call me out for hating a certain religion because I'm not. 
I'm, I'm only pointing out a few facts. The Christians did it. Why, why not these terrorists? These Christian enforcers were pretty much like terrorists. Don't you think? I mean, I'm pretty sure that a lot of these people weren't in exactly happy about these crusades going on. And you'll wonder why these terrorists hate everybody. It just so happens that these terrorists are radical Islamists. Like the majority of all of these terrorists are radical Islamists. And that they'll do anything to make people believe in their religion. And if you don't believe in their religion, even if you don't want to believe in a god, you're dead. You're just, you're dead. Even if you're living peacefully, growing crops on a farm, if you don't believe in their god, you're dead. Done. You either believe in that God or you're dead. There's no coming back from this. You either believe or you're dead. You're dead. Your family's dead. And everybody you know is dead. All because you don't believe in that one religion. And, and not just that religion. And those beliefs. And it's sad. It's sad to think that these radical Islamists think like that, but it's, it's true. It's the fucking truth, and YouTube and the media does not want this truth to come out. And I'll be surprised if they, if they put this video as hate speech. If they flag this video whatsoever for hate speech, I'll be I'll, I'll, I probably will be surprised. Because this is the thing about freedom of speech. Is that YouTube just doesn't give a damn. They want you to believe the one thing and if you don't believe in it, you're banned. That sounds a lot like what radical Islamists are doing, right? They're killing people if you don't believe in their beliefs. Well, if you don't do what YouTube tells you to do, you're banned. If you don't talk about what YouTube wants you to talk about, you're banned. If you talk about anything else, you're banned. Or no, not banned, not just banned. You get a community strike. You get this video delete. You get a copyright strike over a video that doesn't even have anything remote. Re re excuse me, remotely copyrighted material in. It could be a video about how you are just enjoying life and you're copyrighted over a song that you love that you mentioned in the video. And that gets copyrighted because you said that one song because YouTube just does not like that. Now going back to these terrorists, going back to these terrorist attacks that has happened in the past Here's something that that 
really in, enrages me. It's September 2nd. And we're... We're 10... I think 10, 10 or so... 9 or so days away from the 17th anniversary of 9-11. The worst attack to ever happen on United States soil since Pearl Harbor. Innocent civilians died that day in planes and buildings and just all around the world in general. Thousands of people Too many people died that day. I was only eight, nine maybe, when that happened. About yay high. And I don't even remember anything. I don't remember anything that happened that day. I do remember the fifth year anniversary because I was 13 when I was in sixth grade I learned what happened I learned why we mourn those that died that day and from then on I forced myself to suffer through broadcasts, through documentaries, through BC rated movies about the event. forced to mentally break down year after year to the point where I'm practically on my knees begging for this to end. Begging for this Nonsense to stop begging for something, something to happen, something that will end all of these terrorists, all of this war, all of this nonsense. And then it came to me, it'll never end. It'll never end. Because why on earth would any of these countries want to come together over one single cause to destroy terrorism at its roots? While I'm forced every single year to suffer all because I was too young to remember what would I have done what could I have done I could have said something I could have I could have done something to help, but no, I was, I was too weak, too young, too fragile. Now I'm 25 years old, and I choose to suffer, because I'm going to make a promise. 
that nobody else will ever make again. I'm going to remember each and every single name that died that day. I'm going to remember every single person. That died in those planes. That died in those two towers. That died in that wing of the Pentagon. And the one thing that inspired me the most were the heroes that stopped that fourth plane from hitting its intended target, be it the White House be it Congress, be it whatever building it was heading for. Those people, those heroes, no matter what nationality or religion they were from or they believed in, they believed in one thing, stopping those terrorists from reaching their destination because they were not going to be martyrs. They wanted to do something about it. They wanted to prove to the world that even in a dire situation, civilians will rise up to do something about it. That's why I will make the promise to remember every single name that died. Exception for the terrorists that hijacked those planes. They do not, they don't deserve any remorse. They don't deserve any, anything. What they deserve is to burn within the depths of hell where they spawned out from. Mark my words when I say that I intend to change the world. Some way, somehow, I intend to put my mark onto this world. Either be remembering each and every single name and making a video about it. Making a video to say every single name from what flight they were on, from the seat that they were sitting in, from whichever building that they were in, what floor they were on, and the company they worked for. I do this so I could stop the suffering, so I could stop my suffering so I could stop anybody else's suffering year after year, mourning the loss of their loved ones. And I will not stop until every terrorist, every single terrorist is judged. And I judge them. And I hope they're all watching this when I judge them. Because for you, you will rest in peace. And I want you to remember this. I want you to remember my name. 
So beware. I am one Death Eater. The destroyer of souls. And the destroyer of you. Terrorism, you're on my list. And I intend to stop you with nothing but the words of one Death Eater. As I said, I intend to put my mark on this world, even if I have to use words. And I challenge anybody else to prove me otherwise. The truth speaks. And the truth judges all. <laughs> Ha 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 